Hi everyone! Hello, Globaline3CX. Hi everyone, my name's Maya. Hello! So I'm going to let people continue joining. Um, my name's Maya, and so we'll be talking about uh, Computer Security Day today because that's what today is. Hi everyone, I'm going to do a brief um, background about myself once we get more people joined on. Hi everybody. Okay, so I'll do a little brief description um, as we continue waiting for more people to join. My name is Maya. I am a project manager here at Cisco Systems in RTP, which is Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. And my focus is project management in the security and trust organization. And so our conversation today, I'm here to answer any of your questions if I am. If I'm not able to, I will definitely recommend you to DM us and we will find someone who can. But also our focus today is computer security and how you guys can be more secure with how you do and handle your computer and your protective data. Hi everyone. So we'll give it a little, we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll get started. Hi everybody just joining. Hello. Hi everyone. Hello. Okay, awesome. So I think we have a good start going. So I'll introduce myself again and then we'll get started with today's chat. So my name is Maya Earl. Um, I am a project manager here at Cisco Systems in RTP and I do project management for our security and trust organization. I work in the Government Trust and Technology Services group. And so one of our focuses is of course making sure our client's data is secure, but that also we are handling it in a secure fashion. And also we do some application hosting. So our topic today is going to focus on computer security. And because today is Computer Security Day, so happy Computer Security Day, everyone. Um, because one of the main things a lot of people tend to forget is that there are different steps you can take to make sure that your systems and your data is being handled securely and that you're taking all the necessary steps to, in, to go in that direction. So one of the first things on the list of topics is that you should choose a strong password. That is one of the biggest and most important things. And I think that sometimes people tend to forget that or they let it slack. And so one thing is, you know, sometimes people say, oh, my password can be one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll say other things like that. But one thing we wanna make sure of is that our passwords are as secure as they need to be. Um, how important is it going to be for security and future of technology? I think security is going to be extremely important in the future of technology, especially as we move more towards cloud development. Um, that is definitely a space where security is highly important because it's not sitting in a system in your space, it's not on your premises. So that is definitely going to be extremely important and I know that Cisco is taking steps to make sure we're meeting all the necessary requirements and to make sure that we're ahead of the game when it comes to security, especially in the future of technology. So another thing um, that is important for computer security, and again, feel free to ask questions. My name's Maya for those who just joined. Um, you want to make sure you control access to your machine. So therefore you should be logging out and locking your computer when you get up to leave for the day or when you get up and especially in public areas to go and do whatever you may be doing. That is also very and highly important because you don't want people to have access to your machine that, sh that shouldn't. Um, and then another thing is that you want to make sure you're using secure connections. So one thing that is definitely highly recommended, especially for Cisco employees, is to make sure that you're VPNing if you're not on campus and you're in other locations. That is a way of having a virtual private network. So that way you are having a secure connection and that way it'll be harder for people, almost impossible, for them to access your data from afar. I'm studying rated cloud technology. Is cloud very secure? I think cloud can be secure, but I think it's, it's still a developing um, item and that you have to work to make sure that you're keeping up with all the security requirements. That is definitely a good question and I definitely recommend um, DMing to learn more about the different cloud groups in Cisco and how they are secure and what they're doing to be more secure. Awesome. Thank you. Hi everyone. For those who just joined, my name is Maya. 
Um, and I work for Cisco Systems and I work in the Security and Trust Organization. And today's Computer Security Day, so I just want to stop by and give some tips on how you can be more secure to your day to day when it comes to your computer and your technology. Hello, everyone. So, another one that we have is making sure that you are backing up and making sure that you are encrypting all of your files. That is also very important. Um, your device should give you the option to encrypt in your settings, but that makes it so that way if anything is to happen, you do have backup files and backup data and you're not depending at all just sitting on your computer on the day-to-day. -day. Um, hello to those who just joined. Um, but yes, and so, and then one of my big final ones is to make sure that you're updating your spyware and your malware. That is also very important. You want to make sure that you have basically the most functioning and newest functioning uh, source of spyware and malware to make sure that that is also helping to protect your computer. Um, hello to who just showed up. Um, and so, and to the which programming language is most secure question, that's actually a really good question. Um, I am not completely sure. Uh, as PMing, I have let some of my technology background fall away a little bit, but I definitely would ask um, in our DMs, but that is a good question. I'm actually going to research that when we get off this chat up here. Okay. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? But yeah, so those are my five biggest tips um but you do want to make sure that you guess python that seems like that could be one that seems like a good one python is actually it's really important um but yes so those are some of my biggest tips that i wanted to give you guys and yeah so and then i said it says where are you from um i'm from north carolina so i'm originally from north carolina um so this was not a far move for me but yes, we do want to make sure that you guys are putting emphasis on your computer security and your day-to-day -day lives. And so that was what this chat was for today. Um, so yeah, does anyone, if anyone has any extra questions about um, different security components, um, any questions about my story and how I got to Cisco, I am here for you guys for the next few minutes. So I'm happy to answer all the questions you have. Awesome, you're welcome. It says S. Conda, you're welcome. Um, and then what's the blockchain feature in Cisco? So that's actually a very good question because blockchain is becoming very big. I will not speak on that because I don't know all the details about the feature of that for Cisco. So I do recommend DMing us about that question. Um, and I'm sure we have a good answer, but that is a, I'm positive we are trying to get somewhere with that because I know that is a very big field that's opening up. So how did I get into Cisco? Okay, so I got into Cisco through an internship. Um, I went to college here in North Carolina and they came to my campus for one of our career fair days and I went to one of their resume drives first. So I got my face out there, I networked, and then they allowed me to have an interview opportunity and I got it. And so I interned. I interned for three summers before I joined full time and it was an amazing experience. I loved it. I loved the culture. I really enjoyed the work that I got to do. My group is really big on making sure that the interns had worthwhile work. Um, there was some app development work in there. There was some guide work. There was some documentation. Um, it was a little bit of everything. And I actually have a computer science degree, but I came in full time as a project manage manager, which I'm really grateful for because that is kind of rare. And so it's awesome to have the opportunity to be a PM straight off the gate from school. And so I'm actually working on my certification now in um, PMP. So thank you for that question. Let's see what else do we have. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yes, I completely agree with that. Someone wrote, no matter how much you invest in network and server security, if your users don't know the basic cybersecurity practices, you can end up in big trouble. And that is very true. And one of the cool things about Cisco is that they actually have a training and it's based off um, the karate belt. So they have a Cisco security, it starts with white belt and then you keep going up from there, but it has different trainings on how you can be secure and how you can be a secure employee when it comes to your computer, when it comes to your data, when it comes to your documentation, when it comes to how you're developing and coding. And that is something that's really awesome because it makes sure that the employees are keeping up to pace with what's going on and how they can be secure. So that is a very good comment. If no matter how much knowledge you have, if you're not doing things the right way, if you're not taking the right advantages of cybersecurity, then you won't be able to get far. 
one word for Cisco and suggestion to get in there. Um, so one word for Cisco. Oh, this is oh, this is a good one. Um, one I would say innovative. Everything that we continue to want to progress to be new to bring new things to the table. Um, and to allow the employees to feel free and to bring those new ideas and to make the changes that need to happen. Um, and my recommendation for getting here is just keep trying. If you know that Cisco's gonna be near you, if you know there are different events, if you see us on Glassdoor, if you see us on other websites, apply and give it a chance. And then network. If you run into someone who works at Cisco, if you go to different events, talk to people because that's one of the best ways you can do it. Because it is about what you know, but also it's about how you approach people, how you conduct yourself, and how you engage. Because at this point in time, most things are collaborative. So we want to know that you can work with others and that you're engaging and you're fun and you're innovative and you have new ideas. Um, and so, yes. And then, so for CCNA, um, it, it can be beneficial if that is the route that you want to go. So if you have the chance and opportunity to go for it, I would definitely recommend it. But I would recommend also um, DMing because I don't have a CCNA. And so I would love for you to get an answer and have a conversation with someone who has more background in that field. Awesome. And so and I'm not sure about um, any of like the CCNA information for those who are more interested and want to ask more questions about that. Awesome, you have a good day too. Thank you for joining. Um, but yeah, are there any more questions? Mm -mm -mm. I really enjoyed talking to you guys and thanks for listening to me discuss different ways that you can be secure. Uh, Globaling 3CX, no, I am not a programmer. I'm actually a project manager. Um, I did coding in school, but I came and joined as a project manager here at Cisco. So awesome, but um, yeah, so that's all I have for today. Um, thank you so much for everyone that joined. I enjoyed this conversation that we got to have and I hope everyone has an amazing and secure day and happy computer security day, everyone. See you guys later.